Well, hey you guys. So today's video is gonna be really quick, really casual. I just wanna try out and compare the original Tarte Shape Tape versus the brand new Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape that's supposed to be way more hydrating than the original one. I was just kind of playing around with makeup and I was like, you know what? Let me film this really quickly, a little side by side, cause I don't feel like I can really get a good feel for this just on its own. I wanna see them compared and hopefully that helps you guys out in your decision making as well. Because Ulta is having these on sale this coming weekend where I think they're 50% off for both of them, even the new one, which is really cool. I know that's time sensitive, but you know, in the future too, maybe this will help you out even if you miss that sale. By the way, I want to keep it quick and casual because <laughs> I am nine months pregnant right now. 39 weeks, I will be tomorrow. I feel like a ticking time bomb any minute now, you know, labor can start. So I needed to keep this quick. I'm just filming in front of my window here, natural lighting, which is better for foundations and concealer reviews and things like that anyways. So let me know if you like this setup because it's super fast and easy and I'm gonna be on limited time for the foreseeable future. But that's what we're gonna be doing today. A little quick comparison, concealer comparison. If you like what you see so far, make sure you hit that little subscribe button, follow me on social media so you don't miss out on extended content like TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all those things. I'm at Ashley Ellix. But enough of the pre chit chat. I wanna keep this video quick and casual like we said because I got a limited time that I can sit comfortably. It's like a half an hour and then I'm like, I need to lay down, oh my gosh. Anyways, if you're ready for that, then all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching. Boop! So for both the Shape Tape concealers, the original and the Ultra Creamy, I have the same shades in, so it's the shade Light Sand. Now, I did see a difference. I tried this out yesterday just on, just underneath my eyes only, and the, the colors are a little different. So that was a little disappointing to not see them maintain consistency across the shade range. I don't know if it's just this one or all of them, but for Light Sand, you'll see it's very light. Now you'll see me covering up discoloration right now. I always go in with concealer on my cheeks first before my foundation, just cause I have so much hyperpigmentation and stuff that I like to cover that up ahead of time. So you'll see right here, hopefully you can see it. I don't know, I can tell. The light sand and the ultra creamy is about a shade lighter than the original. So just keep that in mind. I don't know. I bounce between the light sand shade and the light neutral, I believe it is. So um, I would probably go with light neutral if I were to pick it again, cause it, it's pretty light, this one right here. So just blending that out and wiping in between. Obviously I'll have the ultra creamy on this side and original will be on this side. So now that that's blended out, you can see that the coverage is pretty much the same so far. I do feel like I see a sh a bit of a little bit of a sheen on this side versus this side of the original shape tape that does look a tad bit drier but I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation all over and then we'll go in with the concealers to do you know the little areas and underneath the eyes and all those places that most people usually are doing concealer so I'll be back in a sec okay so what let's go back in with these ultra creamy is gonna be on this side once again I don't know so much if I'm reminding you as I'm reminding myself honestly when I say that <laughs> Let's, you know, try not to go too heavy ham, but heavy ham, heavy ham, heavy handed, whatever it is. Uh, okay, and then I'm gonna do half C's right there. When I do shape tape, I do, I, I don't mess around. I do use quite a bit. A bit. Uh, put some here. And I also just really wanna see how the coverage is and everything. So let's give it a really good shot chance i don't know man slap some over here and there it always looks like so much oh my gosh all right now let's blend it out i'm just going to use this flat kabuki brush like i was using earlier yesterday i used these side by side on just just my under eyes just to get like that first feel i i literally opened up the box and i wanted to try it right away and i felt like the Ultra creamy did feel a little bit creamier. I couldn't necessarily tell more hydration, but it definitely had like a more creamy feel to it than the original Shape Tape. So I find that to be promising, but how it feels only goes so far. I really want it to look more hydrating, you know? Clean off my brush. The thing is, it's kind of like, 
Is it a little too late for Tarte to finally come up with a more hydrating shape tape? Because I feel like we've been asking for that for years. And instead of giving us that, they just kept naming new product shape tape, even though it had nothing to do with the shape tape feel. Shape tape foundation, shape tape powders, shape tape spray. Oh my goodness, all the things except the one thing that we really, really, really wanted. And at this point, I feel like so many brands have kind of, you know, come for them and given them a run for their money, especially affordable brands. Like I really do like the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and they were on it. They came up with the camo concealer. People were like, we want it more hydrating. And within like six months, maybe, they already had the hydrating one. Maybe it was already in the works. Okay, so, I hope that you can see this. I really do. I'm glad I'm filming this in front of my window in natural lighting because hopefully you can see things a little bit better. I feel like it's not a crazy difference, but I do see, again, a little bit of a sheen on this side, not like a full on glow, but just a little, little bit versus the original side, which does look a little bit almost powdery, more powdery looking, more dry looking not excessive. I never had a problem with it looking crazy dry, but I always want a little bit more hydration, especially for my dry skin. Yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Do you see any kind of difference at all? Is that worth the difference for you? It seems to be about the same amount of coverage. Yeah, I'm not seeing any difference in coverage at all. It just has this tiny bit more glow to it. Hopefully you can tell when I move my head maybe. <laughs> so let me go put all my topping products on top, kind of look in different mirrors, look in different lighting, and I'll see if I can see anything else that's different about the two or if they're pretty much the same and you don't need to run out and get it. I don't know. Okay, so at this point in time of the process of doing my makeup, all is said and done, I don't see much of a difference at all, to be completely honest, which is what we're here for, right? I really am having a hard time picking up the difference. If you were to, you know, if I were to show somebody right now in person side by side, hey, pick a side, I don't think, I don't think you can see a difference. Can you guys see a difference in this lighting? The only, only little itty bitty, ditty little, little baby, baby thing, maybe, a tiny bit drier on this side, a tiny, tiny bit more like rolling into my smile lines, just a smidge bit. This side does look a little bit better, but it is like an ounce, like it is a tiny, itty, itty little bit. I don't think I see as much of a glow now. I did a very light dusting of my setting powder, which is the e.l.f. Halo Glow that I love but everywhere else too, I'm not seeing a crazy difference at all. So, hmm, yeah, coverage seems about the same, which is good. So, if I don't go into labor, I will do a wear test. If my water doesn't break, I will do a wear test and we will see how it wears throughout the day. Maybe it'll, you know, start changing as it sits on my body, on my face, as it warms up and I just move about my day and have all these hot flashes that I go through. I don't know, so we'll see. We'll see. I think what I'll say at this point is if you will have dry skin and you need a refill or you want to try the shape tape and you want to do something a little bit more hydrating, go with, the, go with the ultra creamy. It's kind of like, why not? Um, if you already have the shape tape and you're completely fine with your amount that you have left, I don't feel like you need to run out and get this. I would say wait till you go through your shape tape to switch over to this one because right now I just see a tiny bit of a difference, a tiny bit of a sheen, but we'll see. We'll see maybe in a wear test and we'll see if my thoughts change. Well, dang. So first of all, it's been about eight hours, a little bit more. Obviously I'm not in labor. I'm able to do a check-in for you guys. And this is just my bathroom lighting. I can't do natural lighting. It is dark outside now, but I am seeing a bit of a difference and tell me if you guys spotted it right away. Over here on the classic side, it looks like I have like major fine lines. I don't remember that ever happening and I've never really noticed that with any other concealers before, but over here where the ultra creamy was applied, I'm not really noticing any of that. So <laughs> there, there's a bit of a difference with that. Yeah, that side definitely looks drier, definitely more pronounced. So while it's not crazy glowy, crazy hydrating, dewy looking, 
I mean, the wear time is definitely better on my skin for the ultra creamy. That's enough for me to just say, yeah, I'll just go ahead and switch since that classic is almost empty anyways. So I might as well, when that one's completely used up, I'll just start using the ultra creamy. I don't think it's enough to be like, you need to run out and try the ultra creamy. I think like I said earlier, if you're just, if you're out of it and you're dry, try the ultra creamy out if you want, because it might be a better option for you but it's not something that is so drastically different that you need both or you have to run out and get it. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've definitely looked more hydrated with other concealers. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't just take it all the way there and make it super hydrating. But yeah, this is what it is. This is what it's looking like. Maybe you guys can see a bigger difference. Let me know down in the comments. All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. I hope that that was helpful for you and helping you decide if this is something that you need to run out and grab or if you can, you know, pump the brakes and, and not do it yet, you know? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you go. Follow me on social media like we talked about at the beginning. That way you know when I disappear, why I disappeared. It's because I had my baby. And um, when I'll be back, you know, on consistently on YouTube and things like that. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.